Hello and welcome to challenge number 21. Let's see what it says. Where and how have you been undecided? Write it down in your notebook. Well, while I was meditating in this challenge, uh, I remember about a verse in the Bible and I want you to read with me. It's in James chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. It says, For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So a double-minded person is someone that lives and behaves according to the circumstances. So one moment she believes, the next moment she don't believe anymore. She's doubting. She's always in between faith and doubt. One moment she wants to obey God. She's all motivated to obey God. By the next moment, she don't have the strength to obey anymore. This moment, she wants to do something. The next moment, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. So what is this speaking about you? What is this speaking about your faith? One moment, you assume your faith before your friends, before your family. The next moment, you don't assume your faith anymore. So the Bible says that a person like that is an unstable person and she can't receive nothing from the Lord because she's unstable in all her ways. So analyze. Take this moment, take this week to analyze in what maybe you are not, you is not in every thing you like that, but maybe in your relationship with God, you are like that. One moment you seek him, the other moment you don't seek anymore. So analyze that. Sit down. Humble yourself before God and see, well, am I being someone undecided? Am I someone double-minded? Am I, is my faith supernatural faith or it's a, a emotional faith because someone that is undecided she lives a emotional faith so analyze see where what and how you have been undecided and do something about it it's not just for you to discover but it's for you to do something about it all right Remember that the Lord Jesus said, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Whatever comes in the middle is from the evil one. So decide yourself. Okay? I believe that if you do that, you are going to see a transformation in your spiritual life from inside out. And that will reflect in your behavior, in your life, in the things you have to do and the things that you want to accomplish in life, okay? May God bless you, and I hope that this challenge will help you as well, okay? See you next time.